one's off. Two's in. Two, you've got Spartos at two, five, seven o'clock. Two's hit, I'm hit. Two bailout, four bailout, four bailout. Skippy's in by one, two miles. Three has a motor. Engage. I've got a good shoot. One, repositioning for a raised pass. One's in with raise. Three, safe is in. In the camp with four. just witnessed a dramatization of the rapid aircrew extraction system, RAISE. Now let's take a closer look at how RAISE works. Programming the RAISE ballistics into the weapons computer is a stretch goal for the program. When a pilot selects RAISE on his weapon select panel, the HUD automatically displays the point on the ground where the RAISE pod will land. The aircraft flies straight toward the target at cruising speed. When the aircraft is about 5,000 feet from the target, the pilot releases the RAISE pod. 3,000 feet of a light, yet stronger than steel line, is tethered to the aircraft at one end and to the pod at the other. As the pod falls, the line is unwound from the core of a center-fed bobbin. This allows the pod to paint the line along its path, virtually free of friction. The pod deploys its drogue chute based on ground proximity, ensuring a gentle landing. The aircraft continues on a straight path for approximately 4,500 additional feet, then rolls left to 45 degrees off heading, then rolls right to only 22 degrees of bank in order to intercept an orbit centered over the target 2,400 feet in radius. Once on the ground, any line remaining in the pod continues to be released. The pod contains a parachute, a harness, and a quick release, and these are tethered to the line. As the aircraft circles above, the movement of the aircraft together with gravity causes the line to take on a three-dimensional spiral shape, which imparts no force on the resting pod. When the target is ready, he signals the circling aircraft, and the aircraft rolls out of the orbit. As the rescue aircraft rolls out, it takes the slack out of the tether. The resultant tension on the line pulls the survivor straight off the ground. Vertical acceleration has been demonstrated to be less than 2 Gs until stabilized. As the rescue aircraft flies away, the survivor settles into a position below and behind. When the survivor is safely away from the threat, and in an area where more conventional rescue is possible, he releases himself from the raised tether and parachutes down. <laughs> 